Time to play with some clay. A gentleman by the name of Stan Hope sent me a bunch of photographs of him sitting on a sawhorse like he was sitting on a horse and carrying the uh, banner that I've got to do. And uh, because he's a reenactor, re he does uh, Calvary reenactments. He's been in films and on I think even on the History Channel, if I, I think he told me. I'm going to put some pictures of him on a horseback and as Wild Bill Hickok. Anyway, uh, he sent me a bunch of pictures to show me the size and uh, comparison to the uh, full figure of a man. And... Um, I'm going to have to take some artistic license there because the flag looks bigger than the one I'm going to be doing, but I it may turn out to be the exact size. I don't know. But he also sent me pictures of a Winchester rifle with uh, rulers next to it so I could get the uh, exact measurements. And I uh, printed out that rifle to uh, scale and uh, with with an eight and a half inch uh, head measurement for the uh, warrior that I'm working on and uh, so now I got it scaled to him now the only problem I'm going to run into is that that gun has a octagon shaped barrel and I don't know if I can do that that small and I don't have a machine shop here where I could do that so I'll have to play around with that idea a little bit anyway I've uh, tilted his head just a little bit like he's looking at the flag and in a celebratory type uh, yell and um, right now I'm just trying to refine his face a little bit more. I still don't know whether I'll have a headdress on him or uh, just hair with the feathers or well, I don't know yet. And that's going to come as time goes by. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to work on this next week because next week I've got to get ready for my trip to Great Falls, Montana, where I'm taking part in a show up there, the Montana Western Heritage Show, being held at the Heritage Inn up there in Great Falls. It's a, I've been there before. It used to be uh, the... Uh, place where we had the uh, Charlie Russell show every year. I actually met Charlie Russell's son. He was an adopted son. His name was Jack Russell. And uh, he, he knew Charlie Russell, which is really kind of cool. And I remember we were doing a show and he was a guest at the show. And somebody got up uh, and and said to uh, Charlie, I mean, or Jack Russell, what do you think your dad would think of all this? And Jack, being a real Western person with no bull, said, well, he'd think it'd be a lot to do about nothing. And I just thought that was the greatest. Everybody laughed nervously. Because that's not what he wanted. That they wanted to hear. <laughs> but I thought it was great, just great.
this is a very thin sculpting tool that I got from a company called Ken's Tools. Dot com. A lot of the uh, people in Hollywood use these tools of his to work on uh, prosthetics and uh, models. carried too far away on this. Okay, what I did was I just tilted him. I forgot I got the wire in his butt going into the hole. So if I need to change the angle of him, I can do it very easily. Got to give him a little more jawline. So like I was saying, this will probably be the last day I'll be working on this until I get back from the show, which will be a week from next week. I'll try to do some videos from the show itself. I don't know how that's going to work, though. Depends on how fast the internet speed is at the uh, motel I'll be at up there. And if I can even get my computer to connect to it. And if I can't send it every night, I'll take some video and put it out the next week. I hope I don't screw up this face. <laughs> it's been known to happen. Now, I use uh, Ronsonol to, to uh, smooth out the face or the clay. There are other products, but you got to be careful because some of those products can in cause problems with the mold making. They affect the uh, rubber that you uh, make the molds with. So you got to be careful what you get. I used to use. I can't remember the name of it now. I used to use this product that was used in jewelry making that smoothed out waxes, but it ended up causing a lot of problems with the uh, mold making part. All right, I'm going to try something just to see 
if I want to put a war bonnet on them or not. I took a flat piece of clay. I'm just experimenting, basically. I've never done this before. Actually, I did do this once with another clay of uh, Touch the Clouds. It was a sketch for Touch, Touch the Clouds. But I just want to see what it would look like with a war bonnet on it. And right now, it's not working too good. <laughs> well, it could work out okay. This is not permanent. This is just trying out something to get an idea. What it would look like. look good. Those feathers might be just a little long. Let me adjust that now. It's kind of a lousy way to check it out, but That might look good. Well, it's an experiment. I'll leave it on there till I get back from t the show to kind of remind me what I was thinking of. Now, doing that will add cost to producing this piece, but it might just be dramatic enough to... Uh, sell it too. Now, that's the experiment. Let's see what it would look like on the horse. Well, no, I'm not going to do that. I'd have to reset everything here. I'm running out of time this evening, so I got to get it done so I can go fix dinner and fix my video. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, that could very well be a very interesting thing to do. All right, everybody, have a great weekend, and I'll see you in probably, well, I may see you next week if I can upload videos uh, from the motel, but uh, if I can't, then I'll see you the week after next. Good night, everybody. Please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell. Also, don't forget I have instructional videos available now online. 
the link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos. Later, everybody. Good night.